So I'm working on a gallery show project on rodeo cowboys. I just thought people might find it interesting to see what gear I'm hauling around. So the first thing you'll notice is I've got this background, which I'm clamping to the corral. I am trying to do portraits. I'm not really trying to do as much rodeo action, mostly behind the scenes and portraits. So I, I do set up like a little mini studio clamping this background to the corral. That's why I've got a tripod as well. My main behind the scenes camera is the M7. This one has a 58 viewfinder and I'm using a 35 F2 Zeiss on it with an orange filter. So that the 58 viewfinder is really designed to work perfectly with a 28, but with a 35, it has no other viewfinder lines. So if you have an M7, you'll know what I'm talking about. So I love it with the 35. I bought it for the 28, I love it for the 35. Got an orange filter to kind of correct the sky a little bit. I've got clear filters in case that's, I have to switch them out, I carry those around. So that's the M7 with the 35. And then I have an M6 with a 25 Zeiss on it. You need the viewfinder for that. The, the, the M6 is kind of like the cowboy is in the corral. He's about to get on the, the, the bull or the horse. And I'm just kind of shoving this in his face. So it's super wide. And uh, I have not really totally committed to this shot because I'm... I'm trying to do the portraits, but if I'm if I can, I'll whip over and get the shot with the 25. My only picture ever published by National Geographic was actually a, a horse, a, a bronc rider, who was just in the in the shoot getting ready, shot with a super wide like that. I have the Sekonic light meter. I do use a handheld meter, and then for the portraits, I'm generally using a Rolly Tele. So this was the last generation of telly that Rolly made. So it's a twin lens camera, has a 135 on it. Uh, it's slow to use. It's really slow to change the film. So you get 12 shots and you can change it and that's kind of inconvenient. It's not like a house of lad where you could swap the back out. Maybe that would be better. The 135 lens, it's nice for the perspective, but it's a little long in my workspace. Like I'm back right up against the fence and they're kind of backed up against the corral. So this is, uh, this is my setup of using the, the rolly on a tripod and uh, gives you an idea of the behind the scenes of what I'm hauling. I'm bringing too much stuff. I'm hauling too much. It's too heavy. You're not as mobile as you wish, but I am trying to focus on the portraits of the cowboys with the rolly.